Recently, I got an ultraviolet laser torch, which I will use for curing photopolymer resins. It has a label with safety warnings, power and wavelength ratings. So, let's see how it functions and what components it has. The front part of the torch emits 405 nanometers UV light generated by the small power laser. On the back of the torch there is a lock that disables operation of the laser to prevent its use by children, for example, to avoid damaging the eyes. To operate the lock you must use the key supplied with the torch. I recommend keeping one of the keys separately in a safe place just in case you lose the one in use. To block operation of the laser just insert the key into the lock and turn it anti-clockwise. To permit operation turn the key clockwise. The torch also comes with a charger to charge its battery. It has a spring-loaded negative contact enabling charging batteries of different lengths. Now let's have a look at the parts comprising the torch. Here is a diffuser head that provides different patterns of the UV rays. We will now check it out. By rotating the head you can change the pattern, which is useful when you want to form a smoother and larger spot on resin to be cured. The diffuser head is removable. Without it, the torch provides a small spot of UV light which can be focused or defocused by rotating the lens of the torch. Let's see what is inside the torch. To remove the battery just unscrew the lock and take it out. This is quite a large 3.7 volt battery. But smaller batteries can also be used, for which you have to remove part of the torch body, insert the different battery and replace the lock. Now you have a shorter torch. The laser driver board and the laser are removable. The torch comes with its battery inserted the other way round, with an isolating film between the negative pole and the lock. Before operating the torch, make sure you remove the film and reinsert the battery so that its positive contact faces the lock. Replace the lock. Make sure the torch is unlocked. And go ahead. Now I'll show you how to insert and remove the battery into and from the charger. Unscrew the lock, remove the battery and place it for charging, observing the polarity.
While the battery is charging, this indicator will be lit red. It will turn green when charging is complete. Remove the battery carefully and slowly as the negative contact is spring-loaded. And here are a couple of examples of how you can use the UV laser torch to repair your resin prints. These examples will be detailed in another video. So, this printed part has an undesirable groove on it. To repair it I will apply some amount of resin. Cure it with the torch. and grind any excess with emery paper. This part also has suction holes which I have to close using resin, the torch and emery paper. The other part has a crack that will be repaired using the same method. I'll add some resin and just use the resin as a UV cured glue. Thanks for watching.